Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today it's gonna be a check-in. So if you'd like to know what I spent, please stay tuned. Okay, so we're gonna be doing a check-in from Friday, December 9th through Thursday, December 15th. And we're gonna start with Thursday, December 9th. That day I did pay my mortgage and my son and I went to Wingstop and ate Wingstop, so that was $32. Then on Saturday, I did a lot of my shopping for Christmas, spent quite a bit of money. So we went to at homes and I did buy some stuff that was on sale for Halloween. So that was $17. And we also bought some uh, Christmas decor and that was $86. Then I went to Macy's and bought uh, some Christmas gifts and that was $139. Then, um, we also went to Walmart and I did buy some groceries and that was $5. I bought myself a belt there as well and that was $18. Then uh, I did go to Dollar General and did my detergent haul and that was $19. We also got Chick fil a and that was $23. While I was shopping at the mall, I got Annie Inns and that was $9. During the mall, I also bought some additional Christmas gifts at Hollister for $39 and on another store, I can't remember which store it is, and that was $44. So that was all the spending that we did on Saturday. Then on Sunday, I did have a JCPenney's purchase, also Christmas related, and that was $19. Then my son and I went to go have breakfast at Denny's and that was $44. On Monday, I got a taco in the morning and that was three dollars i went shopping at hobby lobby for some christmas christmas decor and that was 31. then um i had dinner with my son and that was 38 dollars. that was some tacos i also went to burlington and i needed to buy a chair and that was 48 dollars at Ulta, I stopped by and got some beauty items, and that was $32. I also paid my Spectrum and my light bill on Monday. On Tuesday, I got breakfast, and that was $3. I filled up the tank, and that was $40. Um, I did have a Christmas event with my coworkers, and that was a Longhorn, so that was $34 for that. Then uh, I told my son to buy me some food at night. Uh, so he stopped by at Whataburger and that was $9. I contributed $20 for my boss's Christmas gift on Wednesday. Then on Thursday, my son and I got cons and that was $42 as well. So that's the detail of my check-in. And now I'm going to move you over to the computers. Okay guys, so this is my spreadsheet that I'm gonna be using going forward. I just think that my penmanship is horrible and you guys probably don't even understand my chicken scratch. So I decided to do it this way, see how you guys like it. Let me know if this is easier, I think it's better. But I think this will give me a better tracking because sometimes I couldn't even understand my penmanship. So I know I write horrible. So. Again, just a quick reminder, I did have rollover last week and the rollover was 186, but I did have $10 extra that my son gave me. So I decided to add it here in the rollover. And then for the week, I had 285 budgeted. So a total of 41 once you combine both items. Okay, so we had a combined total of 45 um, in eating out. And actually, for eating out, we spent $40. Then for dining out, like I said, we were out shopping. I did a lot of shopping, and uh, I went out with my son. So we did overspend. Uh, we were at $197, so that gave us an $85 variant. However, I did not do any grocery shopping because we were eating out most of the time. I only spend $5. So it's still part of eating out. And sometimes that's why I don't cook as much because it's basically the same thing. If we go eat out, I spend the same amount when I don't do groceries and I don't cook. 
for the week and use those interchangeably. I don't want to, but for to, for this time around, I'm gonna say it's okay. For household, I did spend $19. And then for my gas, I did spend 40. For spending, I spent 52. And, and then for miscellaneous, I did not spend anything. So overall, guys, I spent $353 for the week, uh, but I still have $128 remaining as rollover. So still okay. I did spend more than what I, what I originally budget of my variable expenses. So I did spend how much more? Let's see. I spent $68 more than my original budget, but I spent less than what I had with my rollover. So overall, I think it's okay. This is a win. So that's good. And that's it, guys. That's all I have for today. If you like this kind of content, please subscribe to my channel. And I really do appreciate all you guys' support. And I'll talk to you on my next video. Bye.